Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. For some reason I'm still really energetic today. We're going to be playing as Eve. So let's go, let's go. Um, right, we did play greedy mode last time. This time we're going to do a normal run. Where the hell's Eve? There you are. Damn, I've done like sweet F all as Eve. How has that happened? Anyways, I suppose it's because Eve is kind of a dog shit character. <laughs> No, she's not that bad. I, I don't particularly like Eve. She's she's okay. I think the horror Babylon stuff is weird and a bit sort of tricky to, to use sometimes, but once you've got the um what's it called? The razor, it's not so bad. It's just annoying that like you kinda have to take Devil Deals as his character. Um let's make sure we kill you first. I did see a tinted rock back in that other room, so I'm just gonna go and quickly grab that. Getting a soul heart here would be awesome. Getting two would be even better. Hell yes. Right. Ooh. Blue streak's pretty good. Coin drops are doubled. If we get hit, we um the coins vanish. And we also get speed up based on how much money we have, I think it is. It's pretty good. It's a, it's a bit of a janky item, I'll admit. But it's, it's decent. So, like, if we crack that rock open there, which, honestly, I'm considering doing... I'll take a look at what's in the shop first, actually. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there you go. We can get it for free. We get four coins instead of what we're supposed to get, which was two, which is way less than I was hoping for. I'm going to get another two there. Have a little look-see. Oh, I would love to get electric dice. Actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to take this. I like this item a lot. I think it's really good. Let's come in here. Drop some rocks. The the scale off of our tiers, so these rocks can be pretty damn good. And I think they just fall by default as well. And I think this guy's going to give us a soul heart too, isn't he? Oh, that was close. Yeah, the scale of our tiers and like take our tier effects into account as well. So they're pretty damn good. We did indeed get a soul heart. We got that as well. Let's just get going. But damn, yeah. In a good mood today. Um, For my question of the day. My question of the day, what is your spirit animal? <laughs> that is a bit of a hard one. A lot of people probably don't have one, but I don't know. I've never really thought of what mine would be. I do that quite a lot. I ask a question of the day and I, I legitimately like don't have a good answer for it myself. So I'm sure I've, like come up with one on the spot. I, I, I don't know if it's my spirit animal, but I definitely like um like monkeys, like capuchin monkeys and stuff. I think just they're amazing. Also cats. Cats are just the best. God damn. That's that's maybe a better question. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I think cat, being a cat person or a dog person pretty much solely relies on what your family had as, as a child. Because my family always had cats and I am definitely 100% a cat person. I, I like dogs, but I would never want to own one. Um, I think they're just... They're amazing, but they're so much effort. And cats are just like chill as all hell and they leave you alone when you want to be left alone and they keep you attention when you want attention they do their own thing they're pretty independent you don't have to take them walks like they, they bury their own shit you have to pick up their shit <laughs> it's just I, I like them a lot more but i know a lot of people are a lot bigger fans Ooh, that could be really good um i know a lot of people are obviously a lot bigger fans of um dogs than cats but i think it just depends on like i said what you ended up having as a kid i think it changes quite drastically depending on that but that's my experience with it. I think Secret Room is uh, just here at this back wall, but I'm not convinced yet. I'm really hoping we get some really wacky tier effect to go with these rocks. I think that could be really fun. Alright, take care of you. Okay, this guy's going to do his fire rain. We've got to be a little careful here, because if we get hit, we do lose some money. Oh, you, you, you stepped into fire. Thank you. Almond milk is um, pretty hilarious. I'll definitely take almond milk. I don't know how that'll scale with the rocks. It'd be interesting if it made it drop more of them, but I doubt that's going to be the case. We'll find out. Oh, they are? No, they are almond milks. Okay, I don't know if it affects their damage, but they're definitely, um, they're definitely almond milks, which is pretty awesome. Gimme, gimme. I love almond milk. It's an item that's just, it's so bad it's good. Like, I, I, it's just its just soy milk with flair, and I love it. Not liking where this guy does the actual poison drops there. If you could calm the fuck down, that'd be great. Dude, stop diving. What are you doing? I want to try and use some orbital damage on him, but it's, it's not so easy. 
God damn, this dude is like diving all over the place. Going for it again? No, you're not. Okay, he's finally decided to spawn something after a while. We got him. Not too bad. We'll take this just, just to swip swap it. Um, ceremonial blade. When shooting, chance to launch a piercing dagger. Yeah, that's good. Um, and we did leave the razor on the previous floor, which means we just lost quite a lot of damage for very little reason. Um, not really a great way for us to take red health damage. Now, I kind of forgot that taking the, uh, the health would fully heal us. My bad. Anyhow, we go down with very low damage, and um, we got the ceremonial dagger thing, which I think should be pretty good with our current setup with uh, soy milk, because we're going to be firing a lot of them. Bleed is a really, really genuinely very good effect, so I, I'm hoping it uh, proves to be quite useful. I should be using the active effect of this a little more often. I realize it has a passive effect as well, but the active effect does make the rocks fall a lot more. Yeah, I think, I think this is going to be really good, you know. Because bleed is is damage that is, like, completely, like... It doesn't require us to have high damage to deal high damage, is what I'm trying to say. Um, if an enemy moves a lot, uh, bleed does a lot. Oh, damn. Not see that one coming. Pinking she is is an interesting thing there. Wasn't expecting to see that. I don't need it, but it's there. I think secret room is just up from that room we were just in. Yeah, I think I think the bleed's going to do a good job here. Still getting a lot of money. Speed boost to come in. It's good. This is, yeah, this is pretty awesome. What, what card have we got here? Judgment. I'm just going to pop there and see what we get. We might be able to spend some money on you soon. Oh, I hate rooms like this. Wasn't too hard, but they're just a bit tedious as all, aren't they? We need counterfeit penny as well. That would go really well with this setup. This is slightly annoying because you're just hovering over rocks. My lord, that's so annoying when enemies do it. Whoa, I didn't realize you had bouncy shots. What the hell? Not realize that dude had bouncy shots. Also a carrot. The carrot moves a lot, sir. Bleed is very effective against it. Also, this uh, this axe is pretty good for destroying rocks and stuff as well. I'm not really kind of spoken about that. It's pretty damn good for that. I don't think it can find secret rooms. Chili bean. That is an active item that, for one, is just terrible. Um, We don't want it. For two, yeah. Active. Ugh. So many active items. Defensive. The amount of active items you give me. Okay, these guys move a lot, so bleed should kill you really fast. There's another red heart there. Got a door mimic here. We do have some um, some bombs if you want to go in there. Door mimic rooms tend to be pretty decent, so I'll give it a go. Decent enough. Ah, I was really hoping for a soul high out of that, but oh well. And then here, yeah, we're definitely definitely doing this. Notch stacks. See, this is another goddamn um, spacebar item that's really hecking good, but I don't think we actually want because I'm really liking this active we've got right now. Oh, God. Yeah, I absolutely fucked myself then. Yeah, sadly more actives, which aren't particularly good for us. We'll pop another judgment down. Why not? Oh, oh wait. Judgment judgment takes red hearts. This is good stuff. There you go. Awesome. Super useful. In fact, we might as well... Excuse me. Get back here. Might as well go and pop this guy two more times with that heart. You see? Was worth it a lot. Now our damage is decent. It's not good, it's decent. But yeah, three active items on this floor. Thanks, game. We'll do our boss. 
Bosses like this that jump a lot are also really good with bleed. If, once, if he jumps while he's bleeding, it's going to do a good amount to him. Maybe the bleed is dependent on our damage, because that didn't seem to do as much as I expected it to. Maybe I'm wrong here. I mean, we're killing him pretty fast regardless, so I don't mind. It seems to be doing a good amount. Maybe he's just not jumping as far as he would normally. Range up isn't really very good here. We do... How many hearts do we have right now? I don't know. It's enough to grab this, though. Which should, in theory, work with... Uh, for one, it's going to be really good with our... Um, current setup with almond milk, but I think it's going to be really good with our raining rocks as well, because it'll work with that. So health is looking tragic. I didn't expect it to be as bad as it is, but yeah, we're going to be joining all the enemies up and deal dealing damage across the board to every enemy at once here. Which I wonder, if that works alongside bleed, that's going to be really good. Hey, you got a soul heart there. Good, good. Like, if we can join all the enemies up and then bleed one of them, will it just kill the rest? I think it just did there. Damn it, Troy, have the more soul hearts there. Good stuff. Still, surprisingly, haven't managed to garner that much money despite having a really good item for gaining a lot of money. Good thing is, as well, with this amount of fire rate, we don't need luck to, like, work alongside this. Yeah, we've, we've actually built a very, very potent run here, I think. Ooh, we got a planetarium item, possibly, here. He spawned Brother Bobby, then. This is a pretty good one. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. It does scale with our damage, so it's not going to be insane. But, being able to detonate our tears here and there, I do not like how slippy we are right now. Also, some of them have homing too. I think that's because of brainworm, maybe? Really don't like how slippy everything is right now. Very, very difficult to not get hit here. Okay, nice. We got him. He drops a lot of poops. I walked directly under the stream. I didn't see it. God damn it. But this is a pretty good item. I don't know how good it's going to be for general combat. I think it's going to be pretty good. But it's one of those items that we don't have to use if it's not good. We just have it now. Uh, the player will now fire a continuous stream of weak poop. Uh, tears in the opposite direction they're firing in addition to their main attack. Tears will always deal 50% of the player's damage and always fire at the same delay. Holy. Okay. Well, this is particularly quite nutty now. We have two of the milks. Okay, I remember this guy being a pain in the ass. The more tears on screen, though, the, more, the better it is for that planetary item we just got, so I really don't mind this at all. Especially considering the needles have piercing, I think that's something that I didn't really consider how good that is for us. Check in here. Take that. Gives us plus two keys, which is very good, but also a chest being more full of loot is going to be awesome. Yeah, that's, that's good damage, that. I really like that. Especially because it kind of slightly lingers. Because it slightly lingers, it means that, like, enemies can then walk into that damage. Good stuff. I'd like to get that chest. And that plus the needles. Also, our, like, absolutely wacky tear effects. Zooming all over everywhere. Oh, that's a lot of money. It's meaning that, um... That we're getting... A ton of uh, attachments on our pin shots, which is really nice. Okay. I'm just checking to see if there's any other special rooms about that we might want to see. Oh, you've got perming. 
No, thank you, sir. Oh, you got me with the Herman. God damn it. You lose so much of your money when you get hit. I went from 24 down to 15. And that's after picking up a good amount of it back. Yeah, we've got a really, really nice setup right now. I'm loving it. Got a bit of spice to it. Right, boss time. Boss should get absolutely demolished, I think. But I consider you can hold the charge into future rooms. That's really strong. Oh, wait, no. Pin shot. Yeah, pin shot just destroys this boss anyways. Because every single segment gets attached to each other. It's really cool. More fire rate. Beautiful. Right, down we go. Try and zoom our way to the shop if we can. Yeah, maybe make it, like, one thing to make this thing a bit less powerful. Which I don't even know if it needs, really. But if you were to nerf it at all, it's just make it so you can't... You have to charge it in each room. You can't preserve charge into the next room. Because that is really strong. Is that... We don't know what heart that is. I think that's a red heart, so I'm not going to bother. But that could have been a black heart. I don't know. It sounded like a red heart when it dropped on the floor. But I can't remember if black hearts and red hearts make the same sound or not, to be honest. What the hell's this? The next... <sighs> The next button or key you press will grant a stat boost whenever it was held down until the next floor. Um, I'm trying to think of what a good key for that would be. I guess I could just do like... I chose A, okay. I didn't mean to choose A, but we chose A. I'm not going to, like, religiously hold it, but I'll try to hold it when I can. Right. It's not an insane uh, increase anyways. The damage is really good, but otherwise, we don't need it. Key drops have an equal chance to become any type of key. Interesting. Okay. Got a lot of money there. We're good to go. We got enough to buy two shop items if we can find the shop. Oh my god. Things are getting a little overwhelming sometimes. Just with the visuals on screen that we have right now. We can smash doors with it right there. Just smash that door open. So maybe we can open secret rooms with it. Just gotta fall in the right place is the only thing. I see we're not hitting the bleed very often. Enemies seem to be dying before we can even bleed them. Which is not exactly a bad thing, I guess. Got extra key there, we'll take that. More pennies, gimme gimme. It's funny how they like fall directly on top of each other when that happens. Do you know what? Just can't be asked. <laughs> where the hell is... I, I? No mapping is by far the worst thing. I just don't know where I have and haven't been at all. I thought I'd been down already. Ow. We lost so much money there. Damn it. Oh, we got a morbid heart. That's awesome. Cool, cool that we can detonate the, um, the, the like falling tears as well. I have literally no idea where this remaining enemy is. There's apparently an enemy alive in this room. There you are. Went out of all the pipes. Okay, we found our item room at least here. Aquarius is intriguing. Oh, we got a little bit of herming on that. Nice. Okay, here's our shop, finally. 
I'm just trying to feather tap the A button to get the, the bonus without constantly moving left. We got two things here. Every floor will spawn a sacrifice room if possible. Spawn two um, health points worth of red he health on pickup. That's kind of interesting. It's not very useful right now, but it's interesting. Yeah, I guess I was going to take it, but I don't really need to take it, do I? I really like the idea of that, being able to get more consistent um, sacrifice rooms. I think on some runs that could be super useful. I can see why it's quality one, though, because it's not always going to be useful. In fact, it's rarely going to be super good. But it can be super good if you've got the health to make it work. These enemies look like my morbid heart. It's cool. Boss should be right here. There you go. Ooh, two nickels there. Hello, boss. Look at that damage. The potential output is insane. Also, the bleed damage right now is real good. Oh, damn. I did not, not, did not know you were a charging type enemy. Thank you, Colonel. I guess I'll check this for health. And I got health out of it. What was this here? Taking damage with an empty... Oh, no, we don't need anything that's on damage, really. Weird um, how the door is like this this way, but not this way. I thought it'd be the same either side. Either way, decent. This run is really fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I don't want to stop at all. I think today I'm just going to do a bit of a record-a-thon. I'm in a really good mood today for some reason. I'm, I'm really energetic, and I've got... A decent amount of time today, so I, I'm, I'm really feeling just doing a bit of a recordathon. And also, um, as I've been mentioning over the past few weeks, I'm going to Greece for a week um, pretty soon. It's at the end of this month, so it's like it's the 15th of September for me now. So it's only like 15 days until I go. Um, so I really need to backlog an entire week's worth of videos prior to that. So I should probably start doing that now and get like a good backlog. I already have a decent backlog going, also 2020. Awesome. Um, I already have a decent backlog going, but getting like a really hefty backlog. Mainly, I, I, I want a, I want a backlog big enough so that when I get back from holiday, I don't have to immediately start recording. That would be ideal. Because obviously, I do enjoy recording, but a holiday is meant to be a holiday from everything, really. Like, regardless of how much I enjoy this, it is still a responsibility I feel I have. I mean, it is still, it is still a, a pressure that I put on myself um, to make sure I'm making videos and uploading. So having all of that, like, said and done and out the way with and just being able to take, like, a week or two just breaking off, off recording would be really nice. Beautiful. Wait, what the hell's going on in this room exactly? I'm confused. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we got the big John boy. We pressed this. I didn't see that there originally. Ah, oh, god damn it! I didn't realize this was mum. Shit. <laughs> we can attach all the pieces of mum to one another. That's funny. We did make boss rush as well, which is kind of nice. We don't really don't really matter which one of these we decide to do. We got Linger Bean, amazing. Blood of the Martyr could be pretty good. Ouija Board or Evil Eye. We could get double Evil Eye, which I feel like I'm definitely going to do. Just because Evil Eye, like, seems like it could be absolutely insane. And it very much is. Oh my god, my game. What have I done? The 22 FPS is real, people. Holy, I have made mistakes. Mistakes have been made, people. Do you know, I'm going to try and clear out this middle section of rocks here. My little falling rocks will do a lot of it. But I think clearing them out will mean, like, I can attach enemies much easier to one another.
the amount of damage that does is awesome. <laughs> That's beautiful. What we got here? Fallen? Hey, Fallen. Oh my god, the amount of damage that can put out is just nutty. Like, compared to how much damage we're doing without using that, it's insane. It's gonna be quite slow going because we are, uh, lag city bitch, lag lag city bitch. I don't know how many we need over the enemy before it's like an insta kill. It seems to be quite a lot. We are killing enemies really fast here. We're just playing at 18 FPS so it doesn't look that quick. I suppose it depends on the enemy's health. Some of them that's insta-killing really quickly and other ones it's like not so much. I think it's when the evil eyes stack up is when we really do the insane damage. Right, where have you gone? Where on earth have you gone? I have completely lost you. There you are. <laughs> Let's just chill for a minute and let the uh, the game catch up again. It's not happening, is it? As soon as the evil eyes spawn, everything goes to shit. Just let it go to shit. Let it be as it is to be. Okay, everything's everything's joined together now, so things are taking damage together. Hold on, are you not dead? Okay, no, you're just playing a really long death animation. Oh my goodness. Wrecked you both. Okay. It's got this absolute streamline of demolishing tears. It's amazing. Pin is going to jump up and get annihilated here. Three, two, one. Jump. Pin. Jump. There you go. <laughs> Annihilation. Oh, you're spawning some bombs on us now, are you? Dude, come back. Oh, can, can you not, please? Your bombs aren't going to hit me. Could you just, like, stay still so we can kill you efficiently? There you go. Beautiful. Hey, fella. Good luck to you. You're dead now. Oh, you telefragged me. Yeah, bitch. I can't really say telefragged. I just lagged into him. We've got another morbid heart here. Can you not hold what more than one morbid heart? Or maybe morbid hearts can only fill up red heart containers. That's probably more likely the case. I love this sort of stuff. Even when runs are laggy like this, there's still so much fun when there's just this much shit going on on screen. It's awesome. I just I, I, this is one of the things I love about Isaac. There's just we've never had a synergy like this before. I've got 1,500 hours in this game on Steam. I've got more off Steam. And I've never had, like, a synergy even close to this before. And now it's this. And it's, like, it's just insane that you can have so many, like, unique synergies between things. I've, obviously, I realize modding grows that exponentially. But even still, it's crazy. Probably, I was just about to say, we're probably almost done now. Anyhow. Apparently, analog stick makes you fire out your butt just infinitely, regardless of whether you're shooting or not, which is interesting. I'm still a little bit worried about my PC being a bit broken. It seems to be... Like, I seem to have, like, sort of 
band-aided the issue, but not fixed the issue, which is perhaps scarier, because it means my PC could conk out at any moment. If, if for some reason you guys are without videos for like a month eventually, I really apologize. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't happen anytime soon. Um, but if my if my PC does conk out, especially if it's my graphics card, it's going to take me a really long time to get a new one, because they're really hard to get a hold of right now. So there's a, there's a potential chance that if my PC does do a full conk out, which I, it doesn't seem to be doing right now, it seems to have some issues with certain specific things, but gaming and recording seem to be completely fine, which is good. Um... But yeah, if it does decide to conk out, there might be a, a lack of videos for a little while while I try and get a hold of a, a new graphics card. Either that or I'm just going to like take the plunge and buy a whole new PC, which I'd really rather not do because I only bought like this PC like three and a half, four years ago now. So I've not had this one that long. Like, it's not new, but it's definitely not old in my, in my opinion. I think uh, a, a, like a high-end gaming PC should last you seven or eight years minimum. Nice. More fire rate. That's exactly what we need. I'm a little bit worried about our current HP. It's not great. Oh, hello. That's where you are. I love that noise when it, like, the daggers pierce through the enemy. Ooh, well, that was... That's a really bizarre room. It's just like, hey, here's a free room with, like, ten different ways to kill all the enemies in an instant. Okay, good. In regular rooms, it's a little more sustainable and manageable with this amount of lag. It's in the big rooms where it becomes problematic. In rooms like this, I don't really care. Ooh, flat file. We don't have any familiars, so unless the evil eye counts, but I don't think it does. I'm going to take flat file here. I realized I just walked away from the care room. I'm not going to go back for it now. Yeah, it's such a cool planetarium item, though. Just the ability to detonate your tears. So good. Down you go, sir. Down you go. Okay, I think it's probably down this way. No? Okay. I was expecting it to be down this way. Get a bunch of extra speed there. I also think another thing with uh, with this item that's giving us speed for coins, it gives you way too much speed per coin. You need to have like 30 coins to be at two speed, which is pretty crazy. That's why without any speed upgrades, you can get to two speed so, so easily and freely, essentially. Obviously, you'd have to hoard the money to keep the speed boost, but I still think it's pretty cheap. Damn it, I keep going the wrong ways. Go, you're all connected now. There we go. Oh, I love these enemies so much. They look awesome. And they got like three phases to them as well, which I really like. Why does it always spawn one really far away? Also, how is it not dead yet? Right. You, you, if you drop, you die. You realise that, right? That did not do it anywhere near as much damage as I was expecting it to do. Wow. So that did a bit better. Lump of coal would be pretty awesome with this setup. Doesn't matter, because we didn't get Lump of Coal. Eh, I'm going to try this out. Um, hush is what I meant there. I'm going to try Hush out. I've got very low HP, so I'm not super hopeful. But I think with the explosion thing, we could be pretty decent. Okay, this is a tricky one. Both of these are so good. I think we go with this one, because this will be ridiculous. <laughs> There's going to be fire everywhere. Also, pop seems like a lot of fun, regardless of me needing the HP. 
BFF could be interesting. I'll fire it. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be nutty. It's gonna be laggy as shit. <laughs> it's gonna be so laggy. But I think it could be amazing. Yeah, I don't know how, how good Pop is gonna be. But I imagine pretty decent. There seems to be a lot of things claiming to be champions right now. Yeah. One thing I didn't consider, and one thing that will almost certainly be my demise, is the fact that I can't fucking see anything. Like, I le legitimately cannot see the enemy tiers incoming. Also, it takes several years to charge that effect. This may have been a mistake. Ow, what the fuck even hit me then? Literally no idea. Okay, it's Big Boy himself. That is not doing anywhere near the damage that I thought it would. I thought that would be like annihilating him. But it is not. Oh, I got hit already. Okay, we're dead. This is this is goodbye. I apologize for ending the run early. I thought that we'd annihilate him with this setup. The annihilation is not what it should be. I don't know if Pop maybe ruined it. I, I have no idea because Pop is making it so my tears aren't really going where I want them to. Oh my god, I legitimately can't see anything here. Yep, we got two hits left and then we're dead. And we've taken off, what, like one-tenth of his health so far? This is bad. I got the Molten Slag, plus uh, the explosions were going to be insane. I thought we were going to kill him so fast. The game said no. Can't even plant a bomb in the right place. This is doing like, it's it's really, like I said, it's really hard to tell because my game is playing at 16, 14 FPS right now. So I might actually be doing pretty considerable damage to him, but the game is playing at such a low frame rate that I legitimately can't tell that it's fast because the game is slowed down. I feel like this is something that we, that was inevitable with this run. It's beautiful, what it is, it's beautiful. If you can just not fire at me for the entire time, would be grateful. Like, oh, that's the sort of damage we're looking for. Did you see that? We did a ton of damage to him that time. I don't know why sometimes it does loads and sometimes it doesn't. I definitely think Pop might have been the mistake. Oh, it's when he spawns flies. Because they all get hooked to him and, like, deal a bunch of damage. That's what happened, I think. Oh, God. I do not like the idea of this attack. I think it's definitely going to hit me. It did indeed. Damn. A valiant effort indeed, but we perished. I hope you guys enjoyed that one regardless. It was pretty fun. A really good run. And yeah, just my hubris got the better of me. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.